to watch a mom have to mask, have to wear gloves, have to be in a very loud filtered room with her baby for 48 hours and be separated from the baby across the room because she has this illness in order to protect that baby is a really, really challenging thing that will pull on your heartstrings and something you will never forget. We've been trained, of course, to be ready for such a thing, education, actual drills, but never would I have expected what we've endured over the last year. Having been exposed to COVID a number of times, even with the correct personal protective equipment, you know, how, do you want to kiss your kids to sleep? Do you want to, you know, cuddle up close or, you know, just sort of be at a distance? I mean, that's a strange thing as a mom and as a provider to go through. I think my children and my husband and, you know, our families recognize that what we do matters and it's been important. It's difficult as a nurse to not be able to physically and emotionally connect with your patients um, because either they're vented or, you know, it's hard for them to talk because they can't breathe. Uh, that has been uh, very difficult for the nursing staff. We have a very resilient team and they got us through. And the nursing team all over this hospital just gives 110% all the time. Our staff genuinely cares about our patients and our community members. And we show up every day for our families and the communities we serve. You can see the exhaustion in the um, staff's eyes. So we look for ways in which we can lighten the load by maybe moving staff around a little bit so the same nurses aren't being asked to do the heavy lifting every single day. But what I find is they want to. They want to keep the patients that they've been taking care of for a long time. COVID is a marathon for people who get it. And so these people are with us for a long period of time. And I do remember one patient in particular was with us for over a month. And the day that he got to go home was our win. Everybody won that day, especially the patient and his wife. So um, we lined the hallways and we applauded and we were very proud of the job that we did with him, and we were very proud of that patient. He made it. He made it. For my fellow Oakland staff, all I can say is we have this. This won't last forever. It will get easier, and together we can do this. We are doing this.